The Sredni Stad culture, circa 45 to 35 centuries before the Common Era, was a pivotal archaeological culture of the Pontic Caspian steppe, known for its contributions to the development of Indo European societies. Situated between the Dnieper and Don rivers, it represents a transitional phase in the prehistory of the Eurasian steppes, preceding the Yamnaya culture. The Sredni Stad people lived in small, semi nomadic communities, combining subsistence strategies of farming, herding, and hunting. They raised cattle, sheep, and goats while practicing early forms of agriculture. Sredni Stag is one of the earliest cultures associated with horse domestication. Their use of horses likely facilitated mobility and the spread of their cultural and genetic legacy across the steppe. The Sredni Stag people are widely considered early speakers of a Proto-Indo-European language, though it is unclear how closely their language resembled later Indo-European dialects. Genetic studies have revealed an abundance of mitochondrial haplogroups U5A and U2E among individuals associated with the Sredni Stad culture. The Sredni Stad population showed a blend of European hunter-gatherer, YHG, and Caucasus hunter-gatherer, CHG, ancestry. This genetic mixture is believed to have formed the basis of the Yamnaya genetic profile, which later spread across Eurasia during the Indo-European expansions. Sredni Stag ceramics were utilitarian, but exhibited regional stylistic variations, linking them to both steppe and early agricultural traditions. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of six Sredni Stag individuals, five of them from Russia and one from Ukraine. I ran their raw DNA through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Links to purchase the raw DNA files, as well as the trait predictor executable will be in description of the video. Here is Inya 160. She lived in Lipetsk Oblast of Russia and carried mitochondrial lineage U5A. She is predicted to have had brown eyes, black hair color, olive skin tone, wavy hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she is predicted to be a warrior and to have a higher availability of D2 receptor sites. She is also predicted to have had high odds of autism and intermediate levels of empathy. Her blood type was A. She had high odds of erythema nodosum, kidney stones, hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, polycystic ovary syndrome, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, primary biliary cirrhosis, bipolar disorder, type 1 diabetes, Alzheimer's, prostate cancer, brain cancer, and testicular cancer. She carried risk variants for Parkinson's, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, and Lee-Fermini syndrome. She had lower than average odds of migraine, gout, Tourette's, leukemia, stroke, male pattern baldness, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, depression, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. Next up is Enio 166. He also lived in Lipetsk Oblast of Russia and also carried mitochondrial linear U5A and Y lineage or 1B. He is predicted to have had brown eye color, black hair color, olive skin color, curly hair texture, and snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he is predicted to be a worrier and to have an intermediate availability of D2 receptor sites. He is also predicted to have had high odds of autism and intermediate levels of empathy. His blood type was A. He had high odds of cataracts, rheumatoid arthritis, Tourette's, myopia, male pattern baldness, Alzheimer's, and brain cancer. He carried risk variants for Parkinson's disease, Poots Jaeger syndrome, Brigada syndrome, and Fabry disease. He had lower than average odds of erythema nodosum, hemoglobin E disease, migraine, open angle glaucoma, stroke, atrial fibrillation, cardiovascular issues, unipolar depression, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, prostate cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. Next up is Enya 170. She also lived in Lipetsk, Oblast of Russia, and carried mitochondrial lineage U2E. She is predicted to have had hazel eye color, dark blonde hair color, white skin color, wavy hair texture, and Greek nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she is predicted to be a warrior and to have a higher availability of D2 receptor sites. She is also predicted to have had intermediate odds of autism and intermediate levels of empathy. She carried blood type O. She had high odds of cataracts, rheumatoid arthritis, myopia, primary biliary cirrhosis, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, and testicular cancer. 
She carried risk variants for erodible bowel syndrome. She had lower than average odds of stroke, cardiovascular issues, type 2 diabetes, brain cancer, and polycythemia vera. Next up is Enyo 171. She also lived in Lipetsk, Oblast of Russia, and carried mitochondrial lineage U5A. She is predicted to have had brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, wavy hair texture, and snub nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she is predicted to be a worrier and to have a lower availability of D2 receptor sites. She is also predicted to have had higher odds of autism and higher levels of empathy. She carried blood type O. She had high odds of rheumatoid arthritis, epilepsy, myopia, type 1 diabetes, breast cancer, and brain cancer. She did not carry any risk variants for any rare condition. She had lower than average odds of hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, leukemia, corneal astigmatism, deep vein thrombosis, type 2 diabetes, prostate cancer, and polycythemia vera. Next up is Enyo 174. She also lived in Lipetsk Oblast of Russia and carried mitochondrial lineage W6A, unlike the rest of the samples. She is predicted to have had brown eyes, black hair, olive skin, wavy hair texture, and Greek nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she is predicted to have an intermediate profile between warrior and worrier and to have a lower availability of D2 receptor sites. She is also predicted to have had higher odds of autism and intermediate levels of empathy. She carried blood type O. She had high odds of kidney stones, hemoglobin E disease, migraine, age-related macular degeneration, Alzheimer's, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. She carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's disease, Pfeiffer syndrome, beta thalassemia, and leaf fermini syndrome. She had lower than average odds of erythema nodosum, gout, eczema, open angle glaucoma, leukemia, deep vein thrombosis, depression, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, prostate cancer, and brain cancer. Finally, we are moving on to our last sample from Ukraine. UKR 104 is male and carries Y lineage R1A and mitochondrial lineage T2A. He is predicted to have had brown eyes, black hair, olive skin tone, straight hair texture, and snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he is predicted to have been a worrier and to have intermediate availability of D2 receptor sites. He is also predicted to have had intermediate odds of autism and intermediate levels of empathy. He carried the rare blood type AB. He had high odds for hemoglobin E disease, Tourette's, myopia, and type 2 diabetes. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, familiar hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and treacher Collins syndrome type 1. He had lower than average odds of kidney stones, migraine, gout, exfoliation glaucoma, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, prostate cancer, and polycythemia vera. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share.